Hello, my name is Justin McClinton. I'm a diversity educator here at ETSU, and today we'll be conducting interviews on Emmett Till. Do you know the story of Emmett Till? No. Emmett Till? No, I don't know. Of who? Emmett Till. No, I don't think so. Of what? Emmett Till. No, I don't. I do not. Nope. No. Oh, Emmett Till? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay, so, could you tell me a little bit about it? Or? It's a pretty rough story. <laughs> okay. Emmett Till was from the north and he traveled down south and okay. he whistled at a white woman and then he was beaten for that. A young black boy was uh, was tortured to death and uh, I think he was thrown out into the river. Yep. To the point of disfigurement and then he had um, barbed wire tied around his throat. He was thrown in a river. They believed it was because he whistled at a white woman. Exactly, yeah. If it could happen today, yeah. I really hope it doesn't. I'm not sure. I don't guess so. Mm. Well, coming from Memphis, Tennessee, I, I would I would say no. Yeah, maybe in some rural place where there is not much cosmopolitan. Uh -huh. So okay. it might happen yeah. or like, yeah. Sorry. Yes, I do. I do think it's less likely, but it's it's definitely still possible. Okay. Yeah. I would say so. I mean, like, they say that, you know, they'll say in America today that it doesn't exist, but it still does. Stuff like this is already happening okay. today. Um, Trayvon Martin. Yes. You do? Why? Because the world is full of violence. Mike Brown. Because yeah, I feel do. like there's a lot of, like, racism mm -hmm. and sexism that goes on, and people are racist against anything. Like, yeah. Anything like blonde hair, blue eyes. Another young black male, um, recently um, a UVA student. Um, well, I feel like uh, racial ten tension, you know, definitely isn't gone. You know, I think that's definitely still around. Up in New York, you know, the young man, I can't breathe, you know, hands up. Each week, if you watch the news, there's always something happening. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on and on. Um, and I personally believe that that's awful. Because, I mean, that's terrible. I feel like in that moment they were just looking for an excuse, of course. Yeah, to hurt this man. To, yeah, okay, of course, to hurt him. And it's, it's, just, it's just not fair. I think that people are just going to have to adjust. Education? Education, yeah. okay, okay. This always have to start from the young, younger age, okay, where yeah, they have yeah. to teach the kid that violence never solves something. We could make sure to, uh, you know, teach about it, you know, because I feel like if people could see, you know, how ugly of a situation it was, you know, it can be aversive and uh, prevent people from even, you know. I think it's based on changing the perspective of a new generation.